Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your friendly neighborhood gamer Hashimoto00. Today, we are going to focus on 7 Days to Die changing XML files within the game. Okay, we're going to make it a bit different than, uh, than how the game actually is. Because some people don't want to mod it, and it is kind of complicated. I get a lot of comments on my uh, mod videos, which is cool. You guys got questions? Just throw them my way man it's not that big of a deal i love answering it i love helping people out so yeah just you know keep commenting if you need help so this video today we're going to focus on changing the xml files to make it just a little bit different within the game so like um you know we're gonna do items and we're going to do on how changing the weight of it changing how much can be stacked um, and possibly, I'm hoping that it'll be able to change the value of how much it'll be sold to the, um, the trader for Dukes. Okay, so here we're gonna go to this, we're gonna go to this, and then we're gonna go to this, and we're going, no sorry, we're gonna go to this. <laughs> why would you, why would we hide the game? We're gonna go to this, okay? And that's gonna come up, and then we're gonna hit, double click on that data, double click on config, and then you see items right here. So we're gonna click, right click that. We're gonna open with notepad, notepad. All right, we're gonna scroll down. Okay, so here we are, at, like, we'll just use car battery for instance. So I just wanna say before you go ahead and start changing uh, the things in the XML files, just save it, you know what I mean? Save the whole thing throw it aside in case something screws up then you got you know you got the the before messed with file saved ready to go so we're gonna use car battery as an example today for what i'm talking about okay so here you have it it, it says what it is car battery item name car battery and then here you have the value of the things that uh basically show up within the game uh, the economic value, I'm guessing, is how much it's worth. But at the same time, I think I might be wrong because I don't remember it being 500 at the traders. 500 dukes for the traders. So if you do change that, uh, you know what? Let's change it. Let's make it like, I don't know, $5,000. That's how much it's worth. Five grand. Okay, so wait change that too. bring it down to 16 all right we can do it so that and this is huge man okay so when if you people if, if if you play this game you know how frustrating it is sometimes to run out of space in your backpack okay it is quite a headache especially when it comes to like batteries like this uh engines uh certain tools and stuff like that here we can change it so we can make it so that the battery can stack a hundred within your backpack i know i know i know it's pretty awesome okay it is 2021 so <laughs> all right it's time to time to kick up the game jams and this is how we're gonna do it so the stack number is always something good to change within the game because when you have, like I said, stuff like car battery, it only stacks at one. You can change it. Okay, and it doesn't really, like, it doesn't change the game drastically. It just makes it a little bit better for you to be able to, you know, throw stuff in your, uh, your backpack. Now, when you change this stack number, okay, it changes the stack number within a chest, within your 4x4, within your mini bike, within your backpack, all that kind of good stuff. So keep that in mind when you change that. It's going to change all across the board within the game, which is pretty damn sweet. So when you're done doing things like that, going through and changing stuff like that, uh, as you can see here, it's, everything is like labeled, you know, you can go in and change it. Uh, casino coin, stack number value 20,000. We can always, you can always bump that up if you want to. Old cash. Oh, I didn't know it stacked to 10,000. Not too shabby. Uh, See, I think it is worth five. Like, 
And I'm guessing maybe it's f worth five. Maybe when you have the like the perk all the way maxed out. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, if you if you know, leave a comment below. And let me know so that I know, and then everybody can know. All right. So yeah, like I said, you can go down solar cell, which is like I hardly ever see that in the game unless it's on a building. Uh, glue, resource glue, you can change the weight of it, you can change the how much it can stack. 500 is pretty good, but you can always change that. This is more so that, like I said before, batteries and engines and tools and stuff like that, you can be able to stack it way higher. Way, way higher. So it's more than just one. Tools, not so much. You don't really need to change how much you can stack on the tools. Unless... Nah, eh, maybe. Unless you have, you're just starting out, you want to change how many wrenches you can hold on you. But anyway, this is how it is. This is how you change it. I, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Um, once you're done all of this stuff, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to hit File. You're going to hit Save As. Okay? Save As. And then just save it. That's going to pop up. You're going to want to hit Yes. Okay? And that's it. That's it. So all the alterations that you made within the game are now changed. Okay? And they'll show up in the game when you start up your game. So you'll know right away as soon as you get, like, you get more than one battery and it starts to stack, you know, on top of itself. So it's, it you know, shows up as two uh, car batteries within your backpack. You know it's working. Um, when it comes to uh, weapons and tools, if you change the uh, values of the uh, entity damage, block damage, it'll show up right away when you craft the tool and you look at the actual um, stats of the tool within your backpack. Uh, once after, you know, after hitting tab, it'll show you. So you'll see that you the changes that you've made automatically right there. All right. So I'm gonna leave the video here today. This has been awesome, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments, and do us all a huge favor in 2021. Hit that subscribe button, share, like, all that amazing good stuff that purifies the soul, and it just brings you good karma, okay? Karma's real, okay? And you'll feel it when you hit that subscribe button, for real. Till next time, guys. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and happy gaming. Bye-bye.